So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you wanna type in SFC space forward slash scan now. And then click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. We can run this scan in the background as we complete the next steps in the video. So you just wanna minimize this. And now for the next step, you wanna head over to search again and type in file explorer. Click on it. And then once you're on this on the left hand side, you wanna scroll down and click on this PC. And now you wanna find a drive that has Windows installed on it. It's gonna have the Windows logo on it. That's how you know it's the correct one. You want to right click on it and then click on properties and then click on tools and then click on check and then click on scan drive. You wanna run this scan as well. And now as the scan's running, you wanna head over to search again and type in device manager. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna expand display adapters. Then you wanna find your graphics card. You wanna right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure you have the best drivers for your device installed. I'm also going to be leaving free links down below for NVIDIA, AMD and Intel. You're going to download the software that comes with your graphics card. For me, I have an NVIDIA graphics card, so I got GeForce Experience. Now, once you're in your software, you're going to click on the driver tab and then click on check for updates. Make sure that your graphics card drivers are fully up to date for the software itself. And now for the next step, you're going to head over to search again and type in check for updates. Click on it. You're going to click on check for updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. And now you're going to go back into CMD. Make sure that your scan is being completed. Once it says 100% complete, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. 